Calvin Graham was just 11 years old when he first thought of lying about his age to join the Navy. He had his friends forge his mother's signature, stole a notary stamp, and told his mom he was going to visit relatives for a while. Graham was 5'2", 125 pounds in his older brother's clothes and somehow made it through the recruitment screening. He was sworn into the Navy on August 15, 1942. At 12 years, 4 months, and 12 days old, he was the youngest individual to serve for the U.S. in World War II. Graham sailed aboard the USS South Dakota, known as Battleship X, as a loader for a 40mm anti-aircraft gun. November 14, 1942, during the Battle of Guadalcanal, the battleship was struck 47 times by Japanese fire. An explosion threw our young sailor down three decks of stairs. He suffered severe burns and was seriously wounded by shrapnel that tore through his face and knocked out his front teeth. In spite of his injuries, he tried to help his fellow sailors. Quote, I took belts off the dead and made tourniquets for the living and gave them cigarettes and encouraged them all night. It was a long night. It aged me. I didn't do any complaining because half the ship was dead. Graham received the Bronze Star and a Purple Heart for his efforts. But a year later, Graham's mother learned of what her son had been up to and informed the Navy of his real age. He was thrown in the brig for three months had his medals stripped from him, and was dishonorably discharged, which meant he couldn't receive any disability benefits despite his injuries. Graham lived a hard life afterward, getting married and fathering a child at 14, then getting divorced and enlisting in the Marines at 17. He broke his back when he fell from a pier three years later, ending his service career. Graham had to fight for medical benefits and a clean service record. In 1978, President Carter gave him an honorable discharge and reinstated all of his medals, except for his Purple Heart. In 1988, his story came to public attention through the TV movie be too young, the hero. President Reagan eventually granted Graham full disability benefits and increased his back pay. Calvin Graham died of heart failure in November of 1992. Two years later, his Purple Heart was reinstated and presented to his widow at a special ceremony. He also received the National Defense Service Medal, Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with Bronze Battle Star Device, and the World War II Victory Medal. Like, share, and comment below. Let's recognize the heroic acts of men like Graham who did so much and received so little. Mm -hmm.